In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D test without Photoshop. And you can use this 3D test in projects like this. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that's something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So recently I got caught up with a project and then that was when my 3D in Photoshop decided to give a quick one on me. So I googled how to make 3D test quickly and easily and I found this website and then I needed to share it with you guys. So the website we're talking about is cooltest.com and this website is very easy to use, comes with so many different 3D tests that you can actually use for free and you can use it in projects that if you don't tell someone that you use a particular site like this, they might never actually figure it out. So if you browse through over here, you're going to see the numerous type of 3D tests, including the most popular Tesla and then this Cavenger and so many of them. So you can scroll through any one of them. Look at this one here. Super nice, this one. And if you want to even narrow your search, you can go to the generator categories over here and then you can browse through any one of them. So let's go ahead and pick just one of them and use how it works so you click on it and then it is going to open the generator for you so over here you're going to input your test so let's go for something like 3d test and then it is going to do the magic for you like that now what you can do here is you can change the font if you don't want this one you can choose the numerous font over here over 1959 free fonts that you can use so you can change the font to any one of them that you want or if you want the same font over here you're going to maintain it also you have the option to increase or decrease the size over here so for instance right now i'm decreasing the test size now you should use the maximum size that you want because at the end of the day you're going to render this or export it as a png and then you're going to use it in say photoshop so you don't want the quality to be low you need to make it the highest or the maximum that you can and once you're done with this you can go to the image over here that is the file format that you want to save this in or download it in so you're going to choose png okay png transparency or the png over here when you make it jpeg you're going to have all of these inside so you're going to save it as png transparency and once you're done all that you need to do is you go ahead right click and then you are going to save image now this is going to download for you so this is the name and then you are going to save it at your download folder so within a matter of one minute you've been able to create a cool 3d test that you can actually use now let's see how you can use this in photoshop so this is a project that i did recently that i used a cool test 3d font this one this font right here i did the same thing on the website so once you are in your project or once you are in photoshop you can go to file and then place embedded and then you can go to your download sections or your download folder and then you are going to import your 3d so it comes with a free background now you realize that this came in as big already so if they need be that you transform it a little like that it will make a lot of sense that is why you have to make sure that at the end of the day you are exporting it at the highest resolution so that when you are to transform it it wouldn't be much of a problem so you can use it in photoshop now let me quickly show you how i created something like this so the core concept of this project was a portal something that has to do with sand so since this was my first time on the website i needed to find my way around it so i first searched for sand which i didn't get much of an option so i quickly went to the generator categories over here and then i clicked on stone now at stone you are going to have this particular dragon 3d test is super nice uh, but what i was actually looking for was right over here so i just clicked on it i selected that particular sword type of 3d and then i changed this one over here to porter simple like that and this font here is really it looks really really amazing so you can increase your test like that and once you have it to the point that you want a bigger one like this you can just repeat the same process right click and then save image and then you can save it as a png and use it in your project yeah so the next time photoshop decides to give up on you in the middle of 
your projects you can actually rely on cool websites like this to make your project nice just in case you try it out you might want to send it to me on instagram and then i will check it out and i hope this was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very cool thank you so much for sticking around i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye